technical difficulties. Timmy? Son? Timmy, why don't you come here and sit next to me and have a talk? Now you're old enough, son. You're of a certain age. I... I think it's time that we tell you the truth about Santa. What, Dad? What's the truth? Well, Timmy, Christmas Day is tomorrow and... I know you're expecting Santa to come to our house tonight. Yeah, I know. Santa always brings me presents for Christmas. That's just it, son. I... I don't know how to say this, but... Santa isn't real. <laughs> you're silly, Daddy! No, look, Timmy. I know Mummy and Daddy have told you all about Santa and his reindeer, but he isn't actually a real person. Daddy gets up late at night and puts the presents at the end of your bed. So... What you mean is, you're Santa. No, I didn't say that. Oh, wow, my daddy is Santa Claus. That is so cool. Can I ride a reindeer? Son, you're not listening. <gasps> Can I meet an elf, Daddy? I've always wanted to meet an elf. You can't meet an elf. Elves don't exist. Santa doesn't exist. Oh, Santa lives at the North Pole. That's right. Now you're getting it. I can't be Santa because I live here with you and Mummy. So do you work for Santa? No, why would I work for Santa? You said you put the present at the end of my bed. No, look, Timmy, it's not Santa like that. Santa doesn't do it, you do it. So you must work for him. How much does Santa pay you, Dad? Santa doesn't pay me anything because... How many days a year do you work for Santa? Is it only for Christmas? Timmy! I want you to listen to me. I am not an employee of the Santa Corporation. I put the presents at the end of your bed because I bought them for you for Christmas. I bought them at the shopping centre and put them at the end of your bed for you. Do you understand? I understand. So Santa outsources present distribution network for maximum efficiency, like Telstra does with its customer service. Timmy, what have I told you about reading the financial review? Never before bedtime. Never before bedtime, that's right. But more importantly, Santa doesn't outsource anything because Santa doesn't exist. Of course he exists, Daddy. We leave cookies and milk for him and in the morning they're all gone. Oh, I eat them, you silly duffer. Dad! They were for Santa! Now he's going to go hungry. No, Timmy, Santa can't be hungry because he is not real. But what about the water we leave in the driveway for the reindeer to drink? I throw the water out at night. Dad! Timmy, inside, boys. That was for the reindeer. How are they supposed to fly to all the homes in the world when they are thirsty? Because you threw out their water! I told your mother the Santa thing wouldn't go well. Look, Timmy, I'm trying to tell you that there is no Santa, no reindeer, and no bloody elves. What about Jesus? No, Jesus is real. Well... Yes, Jesus was real. I mean... Is Jesus dead? Son, he's been dead for 2,000 years. Uh. <laughs> he was crucified on the cross for our sins. You know that. No! I like Jesus. He was cool with his beard and sandals and magic tricks. Miracles, not magic tricks. Whatever, Dad. Look, Jesus isn't really dead. But you just said he died on a cross in agony. But he lives on in us, son. He's everywhere. Like Santa. Yes. N no, n not like Santa. Santa is a made-up person. He was created to help spread Christmas cheer. Is Jesus a made-up person that helps spread Christmas cheer? No, Jesus is real. But you said he was everywhere, like Santa. No, what I meant to say is... Uh, okay, forget that. The true meaning of Christmas is to celebrate the birth of Jesus, our Lord and Saviour. So you're saying we should leave cookies and milk out for Jesus this year? No! Why would we leave him milk? Jesus doesn't drink milk. Is he lactose intolerant? No, he's not lactose intolerant. He's not a real person. Like Santa. No, I didn't mean that. J Jesus is real, but isn't a physical human being. You can't reach out and touch him, but he lives in our hearts and souls. There's a man living inside my heart? Jesus. He must be small. Okay, he doesn't actually live in your heart. It's more of a metaphor. So he lives in my shoe? What? You said he lives in our souls. Isn't there a soul in my shoe? No, that's a soul, not your soul. Is Jesus Korean? No, for Christ's sake! Jesus doesn't live inside your beating heart or your shoe, and he is definitely not but Korean. You said... Damn it, son! What did I do? 
damn it, you were born a little weirdo. Oh, and while I'm at it, the Easter Bunny isn't real, the Tooth Fairy isn't real, but there is a monster under your bed, and he will eat you if you don't clean your room right now. And you're adopted. Merry Christmas, you little shit. Arctic Workshop, South Korea. Dear Jesus, it is my understanding that you have stepped in as CEO of Santa's Workshop, following the abrupt resignation of Mr. Claus. I wish you all the best of luck in your new role and hope to see the business doing well in the future. Yours, Timmy. P.S. For Christmas, can I please get a PlayStation, a remote control car, a new bike, an iPhone, a financial review subscription, a jumpy castle, a giraffe, a share portfolio, 20 gold ingots, some West Texas crude oil?